do you know what? <laughs> Why did I pick this angle? But yes, yes. I wake up at 3 p.m. about every day. Sometimes 4 p.m., sometimes 2 p.m. But mainly I average out 3 p.m. wake up time. I'm done of having to live in, in secret. I'm, I'm done of when somebody who's not one of my friends texts me and in the morning and then I don't text back until 3 p.m. and then I have to be like, oh sorry, I was super busy instead of saying, hey sorry, I was dreaming. I was in a nice state of slumber. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sick of living in lies. So yes, I wake up at 3 p.m. every day and that's just a reality of my life. I'm done hiding and it's time to let's normalize this. And the best way to normalize this is to denormalize waking up early and I have a few ideas on how to do that. One person in my life who for my entire life has always woken up super early and has always tried to encourage me to wake up early, always telling me that I have to stop sleeping in late, is my dad is my dad. And it's like one dad, I, I like you think I haven't, like li there's melatonin literally right here. Doesn't work on me though. Melatonin does not work, I'm powerful. You think a pill can make me go to bed? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna call my dad and uh, maybe make fun of him a little bit. Hey dad. Wait, what's, it's so windy where you are. Oh, you're running? Oh, I'm sorry, then was this a bad time? I just got off the phone, and I know you're like, well, we didn't see you bully him. Not this man, I called him. I was like, well, it's windy. Are you, are you somewhere, are you by the beach right now? He's like, no, I'm running. And I'm like, oh, let me call you back. He's like, no, I'm just, I'm in my mile too. I can talk, I'm in my mile too, and I can talk on the phone. First, you wake up early every day. Second, then you run a ton of miles. Like he hit mile three while we were on the phone and he's like talking like this. Meanwhile, I run for 10 seconds and I'm like, <sighs> and I start tasting blood in the back of my throat. I wanna go outside and start running and see how much I can run before I can't run anymore. Uh, I walked the mile in high school, yes I did. Did I run the mile in PE? No. Like to anybody watching that ran the mile versus walked the mile, and I weirdly feel like the majority of the people who watch my videos, we walk the mile. Why do I feel like that? I just feel like that's like the vibe. I don't know, but I also think there's some people watching who definitely ran the mile. And I asked you why. Did you do it for you or for the teachers? I walked that mile. I was in the back like, I didn't even start running. I didn't even like, okay, I'll run until I can't. I started walking. I said, let's not tell me what to do. Anyways, I wanna go see like how much I can, I can actually run. I'm over here putting on my socks and shoes and just realized that going on a run, going on a run, means being outside. I have to go outside, which means people are gonna see me do this. And it's gonna be so embarrassing. And being embarrassed isn't, I don't think it's gonna make me run any faster. What if like another runner sees me? And that's where the judgment's gonna come from. The other runners. Oh, no, 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 I'm nervous now. I wish I was a runner, I wish. And I'm sure there's some runners watching, hey guys, you're better than me. And I wish I was you, but like, I can't get myself to do physical activity. And that's so bad. History lesson with Amy, we were nomads. So we were constantly moving back in the day. So now, like, I think I'm right. I really hope I'm right because I'm not gonna fact check this. So I, this might not be true, but I'm pretty sure it's true. We were constantly moving. Like we were walking like tens of miles every day. So now like physical activity is super important for our mental health. I know it's important for your mental health. I've had therapists and, and doctors say that, that I should start working out and I, it will probably, like I'll probably see a change in, in helping my mental health. And I was like, oh, I'll do anything. And then I never do it. So, well, okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is this is hands down turning off my lights, okay? Let's, let's, let's worry about the environment. This is hands down the most vulnerable I've ever been for, with you guys. I know you're like, whoa, why is it this color in here? Go turn off your e-boy lights. What it is, is I have a grow light for my plants. Okay, let's go run. There's so many people outside. There's so many people outside. There's so many people outside. I haven't even started and I'm already humiliated. Okay. Oh God, there's somebody who's walking around going up to people. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Don't come up to me. I'm gonna bark. That's how I'm dealing with people from now on that I don't want to talk to in public, especially during a pandemic. It's counting me down. 
Begin work on. Okay. I hate this. I hate it already. But I'm trying to keep a positive mindset. Oh my god, people can see me. That's the worst part. This is so hard to talk. My dad was literally held on th mile three and talking to me like it was nothing. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I hate this. It's kind of nice, actually. It's kind of nice. Oh my god, I've gone so far, you guys. Do you think I've ran a mile yet? <laughs> I think I'm at a mile. Oh my god, am I a runner? <laughs> I'm a runner, oh my gosh. I haven't drank water yet today. I have not drank water yet today. I hate it here. Okay, but I'm gonna keep going. Oh my god, somebody, I see another person. You know, I'm at that point where I'm like, yeah, I wanna stop. Okay, how do I stop? Pausing workout. No, let's end it. Workout completed. Workout completed. I was running at the pace of a 10 minute mile, which is, I think, excellent. It could have been worse. I ran um, 0 0.17 miles. I don't know what that means, but it's better than nothing. So I think I did wonderful. You guys, the way in which I have a stomach ache right now, do you think it's because I just ran like, I think almost a mile? <laughs> because I ran like half a, I ran like two miles. I just ran through, you guys, I just ran a five mile run as you guys know. And now I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache, I wonder why. What do you do to fix stomach aches? How to get rid of a stomach ache? Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> Take some medication, maybe. Drinking water, oh my gosh. I have been drinking water today. <laughs> Some Advil. <laughs> Just did a Target pickup. Let's do a haul. Beads. Because I want to make a beaded necklace. We're gonna do that in just a second. Airhead extremes and sour watermelons because the greatest wealth is health. Never forget that. Exercise, eat your veggies. The beads have like animals all over them. Here's the necklace. This is either gonna be like super cute or like really ugly. You don't know until you try. So who knows? We got distracted with the whole running bit. Never did fully talk about the sleep schedule. So let's get that out. Um, I'm self-employed and for me, I like working in the middle of the night and I've always been a night person. I've always been somebody who being up at night was just, it was my time. It was my space. It was the energy that I like craved. Going to bed early is literally something that I have never in my life been able to do. Like it's just, I can't. I can't do it. I do have a bit of an excuse. I have ADHD and something that comes along with ADHD is sleep issues. And boy, oh look, it's an elephant. <laughs> and boy, do I have some sleep issues. So like literally like I can't remember a time in my life where I went to bed early and woke up early. Let's try it on. I look like I just made a children's teething toy. Like a child would teeth on this. Sometimes we have ideas and they're bad. This was one of those. I put all the bears on one. It still looks like a children's teething toy. Anyways, so I just filmed this video today. I just edited it. And these are like vlogs. I don't know what to call these videos. I guess they're vlogs, but like not really vlogs. There's no structure. Do you like these? Do you guys like these? And if so, cool. If not, let me know. Also, let me know, like, any videos you want to see. Like, this is us. We're having, like, a let's talk. Uh, <laughs> because I don't really know. Like, there's not much you can do right now, obviously, because I am still quarantined and I don't leave the house. Um, so everything I do is, like, in the house. And so, I don't know. I just want to give you guys the content you deserve. And you deserve whatever content you want. So, long story short, do you like these videos? And what are some other videos you want to see? I can do more, like, themed videos. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. That was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know what it was. Again, sometimes I just get on, just take my camera and I just start talking. But I guess that's YouTube. Anyways, that was the video. 
I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>